Hello class, it's Rachel here. And for our first video together, I thought that I would do one about Frogzilla. Frogzilla is a female albino African clawed frog, and her species is found throughout much of sub-Saharan Africa, in places like Nigeria and the Sudan, all the way down to South Africa. They usually live for 5 to 15 years, but some have lived as long as 20 to 25 years. She is called an African clawed frog because of the three black claws she has on each of her large webbed feet, and she uses those claws to help her tear food apart if it's too big, and also to help her when she sheds her skin. She will use her big webbed feet to rub against her skin, which pulls the dead skin off in one big sheet, and then she eats it. It sounds really gross to us, but to a frog in the wild, it's a good source of nutrition in an environment where food might not always be available. The small lines that she has on her back and on her underside on her tummy allow her to sense movement and vibrations in the water because she has no ability to hear. African clawed frogs live their whole lives in the water, but are air breathers and come up to the surface every few minutes to take a deep breath. Sometimes she'll hang out at the top and her favorite place to sit is in her soap dish. Males and females can be told apart by their front arms. Females have no coloring on them, whereas males have patches of black on their arms, and they use these patches to hold on to the female when mating. Frogzilla's tank is nearly empty at the bottom, and this is because when she eats, she grazes the bottom of the tank and scoops up whatever is in front of her. Because of this, she could get small rocks into her mouth and they would collect in her stomach. Because they would be too big for her to pass, she would become impacted and it would cause her to be very sick and could even cause her to die. Some people use sand because it's small enough for her to pass, and some people use bigger rocks. We have a few big rocks in there just for decoration and for some enrichment for the goldfish that live in the tank with her. Her favorite thing to eat is bloodworms and fish. We get little fish from the pet store, and she eats them from time to time, and she eats little frozen cubes of bloodworms that we also get from the store. She could also eat other types of worms, and I know some people feed them large earthworms, but we've not tried those with her yet. Now, Frogzilla is a female, and sometimes, if the water gets changed too frequently, she will lay hundreds of eggs all over the tank. But because she is the only frog in the tank, though, they never get fertilized, and we have to scoop them out, or otherwise, they would make the water very, very smelly. African clawed frogs really are great pets to have. They're a lot of fun to watch when they swim around, and eventually they get to know their owners and recognize them. Frogzilla's gotten to the point where we can feed her right out of our hands. I hope you enjoyed a quick video on the African clawed frog, and I hope that you can take something good away from it. I look forward to sending you another video next week. Then after that, I will be in Scotland, and we will have our first video there about the wind farm. We will be living next to the largest wind farm in Europe, and I can't wait to share it with you all. 